How to avoid snacking at night. How to avoid snacking at and night. This Go ahead, is important man. to Devin because I know, like, he's honest. He struggles with this sometimes. So, how to avoid snacking at night. You have to do the work before night hits. Okay, so throughout the day, what are you doing to avoid this? You have to maximize your protein intake throughout the day. And again, we talked about protein on a previous episode. We will also link for you guys. But again, we talked about how many grams you should get per day, and that number can't be less than 100 grams per day. If you're getting less than 100 grams per day, I guarantee you're gonna be looking for something late at night, right around 11, 12, or when Devin's sleepwalking. 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Hallelujah, all my parents out there, okay? All my parents, when, when you get into that pantry at like, 2 a.m. because you're walking like a zombie and you got those kids snacks right there sometimes it's just like oh screw it <laughs> and I'm just standing there eating as it's not a good thing no. we don't want to do that okay we don't want to do that and I it, Matt's telling the truth Matt preach it tell him tell me only reason why you're hungry is because you don't get your protein in don't get it in make sure you have protein in every single meal don't skip a meal without protein because if you do so that's going to catch up to you later at night when uh, you don't know what to do and you are not tired yet, you're gonna be looking for food, okay? Matt, so, Matt go grab those afterburn yep. bars real quick. So Excellent. I wanted to give you guys just a couple whole food tips, okay? And, um, and Matt's gonna help you out with any tips that he has too. Here's my go-to, okay? Um, one thing I don't necessarily do all the time that I'm trying to get much better at, come get better at it with me, is casein protein, okay? I wanna take just a little bit of that. Um, you know, that's about the only time I'll really eat dairy is when I just take a couple, uh, tablespoons of cottage cheese at night right before I go to bed and casein protein has a longer what's it called Matt I forget what it's a, it's a longer um, it keeps you fuller longer keeps you fuller longer it's a slower it's a slower breakdown okay it's a slower breakdown it's a longer it's a longer protein it's gonna break down much slower that's way it's gonna be able to feed protein synthesis throughout the night I, can, I forget I, I'm drawing a blank on that one but um, it'll come you, back to you, me if in you a know minute. what we're talking about leave a comment it'll come back to me in a minute yep uh, and then Afterburn bars, okay? We have these, we have two We have two triple chocolate with almond butter and the cookies and cream. These are my go-to because they taste good but they also have 17 grams of protein in and I don't feel when I wake up if, after eating one of those, if I'm hungry at night, I don't wake up the next morning and like look in the mirror or feel my waistline and feel like I didn't make progress. Yeah. If I'm eating these at night, although there's a, I think 10 grams of sugar in each one, okay, what's gonna happen is that we are, um, gonna wake up the next day and feel a little bit leaner and that's when you know snacking at night is okay. I also have a banana sometimes with some dark chocolate and I'll put that mm. dark chocolate mm, in like a little Love glass that. bowl and uh, I'm a microwave chef by the way. I'll put it in the <laughs> microwave for 20 seconds. I'll melt it a little bit. I'll drizzle. I gotta drizzle it. You don't just gop it in. You drizzle the almond butter from the spoon and then you mix up the chocolate. You mix up the almond butter. You dip that nana in. Oh, it's game time. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right, anything else, Matt, on how to avoid snacking at night? What, what tricks do you have? You're not a snacker. You I, see, you, you're very dis you're more disciplined than I am when it comes to nutrition, and I'm gonna do better to catch up to that. I think the biggest thing is, the biggest thing is uh, every meal I have is half of my plate is protein, all right? Not half of my plate is carbs, not half of my plate is fat. I have carbs and fat with my protein, but again, half of that plate is protein. I eat that first, like I referenced in a previous episode, and then I eat my carbs and my fats. That has helped me avoid snacking at night where I can just go to bed, get the recovery I need through my sleep, and then wake up and just repeat that. And also, avoiding foods that don't make me feel full. Right. You ever been to a, a sushi restaurant or a Chinese restaurant and you leave and you're like, 30 minutes later, an hour later, you're hungry, right? That's not very filling, because not a lot of protein uh, in sushi or Chinese food. So again, whole foods are the best, but again, half of your plate should be protein.